Welcome to Pet Tales. Yes, this is the show where we meet pets, their humans and their caretakers and find out a little more about them. I've introduced you to so many furry friends by now and I've told you so many stories. I was thinking the other day, when I'm busy cajoling and coaxing them into doing things in front of the camera, I wonder what's going on in their heads. Hmm, it's time we found out. <laughs> Water tastes best when it's drunk from the lily pond. Uh, uh, Terry, you, you, you little woolly mammal, move over, small fry. Uh, Dara, the giant mammoth, doesn't like to share. Well, I'd rather play with Prakash anyway. Here he is. Oh no, oh no, that sounded like the doorbell. Now we'll have to go get that. Oh. Who could that be at this time? All my humans are home! Ruff. Who is this? She looks familiar. Hey, I remember this girl. She was here the other day. Woof, 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 woof. Dude, new human. Let's play fetch or, or catch or tag. You're it, you're it. So Anshrika and Ernst have about uh, four dogs. Five dogs. I'm not too sure. I was also told that they have cats. Anyway, right now I see Tara, the brindle Great Dane that was a gift that Anjlika and Ernst got by living in Kolkata. I think she's the boss around here, though she doesn't act like it. Kali is the other girl around here. She's such a good soul. Calm and mellow and forever being bugged by Oreo. I'm told they're related. Oreo is the rowdy, but he means no harm. He just likes to play rough. And whatever Oreo likes to do, Terry loves to copy. Terry is the teenage kid and the latest addition to the family. And he thinks he's oh so cool. Well, he is cool, but we won't tell him that. Most of the time, these kids are just out in the garden playing their silly games. Invariably, Oreo invents the game and the others just follow. Well, Terry blindly follows and Tara tweaks things a bit. As for Kali, well, let's just say she likes to chill. A lot. Our humans have about two cats. They think they own the place, these cats. They make great targets for my chase game. <laughs> hey, them, brother. Whatever you say, Oreo! Whatever you say! Of course, when this happens, the humans intervene. The doggies mean no harm, they just love acting like dodos. Poor Prakash has to rescue Cocoon, the cat that is most affected by all this boisterous behaviour. Ow! These conniving canines! Man's best friend, Bah! Chasing after me! <sighs> poor kitty, poor, poor kitty! Losers, that's what they are! Ah! Nice human put Cocoon up safe in the tree. Oh, nice view up here. I can see the whole neighborhood. I was born in this neighborhood, you know. Me and my sister, Shanti. She lives next door. I chose these humans. <laughs> Wouldn't have if I had known about these dogs. Oh, what's that? Get that blade. Get that. No. Get that. And that's when Maya, the youngest cat, comes slinking in with her devil-may-care attitude. Hmm, what's all this noise about? I hate fuss. Life's good. You just need to relax and savor every moment. Don't care about much, that's my policy. As long as you groom yourself, you're good to go. Um, oh, your games won't hurt. Oh, oh, and, and, and good food. We definitely need good food. Terry was actually tied up for two days and two nights, probably, at uh, here outside the gate, uh, on the way to the beach, uh, in with no shade, nothing. 
So uh, Prakash found him and then he came one day and he told me, please, can we do something for the, for the dog? He was filthy, he was, uh, he, he was dehydrated and uh, he, he was really, he looked very poor and he was on, a, on such an iron chain and um, he, he looked awful. So we put him, we gave him first to drink and to eat. Three days he was in the, in the, in the animal hospital and then he was fine. And uh, we, uh, we took him home and he was, he made it quite clear to us that he didn't want to leave. Meanwhile, outside there is a little game of tug of war. Of course, Oreo and me started the game. Guess who joined in? Let me at her! Let me at her! I can do this, dude! Who the man? Terry's the man, dude! Ugh, I don't know who's worse, the silly girl who thinks she's Wonder Dog or the stupid Injun Buckham Terrier Ruff. Woohoo! Score Sarah! Ha! You guys think that's impressive? Wait till you see Tara. Ooh, yeah. No chance of tug of war there. very nice human. New human pet Kali. Kali like it. Kali love it. Kali love it. Oh yes, yes, human. That is correct spot. New human. Nice. Now Tara come to. Kali like Tara. But not when Tara steal new human. Kali nice Kali. Look at Kali human. Look at Kali. Nice human. I must really say I could not do it without my help Prakash because Prakash is always there when I am not at home and he loves the animals and he loves my zoo and my zoo loves him. We all goofed around for a bit more. Terry tried to figure out what the camera was all about. Tara, well, she was just all over the place. Oreo insisted that he sit in a chair with me. And Kali, smart that she is, kept herself to herself. After what seemed like a lifetime of lazing around, it was time to hit the beach. On way to the deep blue, we were joined by the dogs next door. Humans and canines took the short walk to the frothy waters. And once we were there, each found their own way to enjoy sand and surf. Some caught up with their local friends. Others chased the waves, more their friends, and some dug holes in the sand in hopes of making it to China. I was most impressed with Tara who kept fetching the shriveled up coconut that the waves pushed onto shore. That's when Angelica told me of their other dog, Sprite. She was the oldest of them all and Angelica sent Ernstoff to fetch her. A few minutes later, Sprite arrived. This girl is 11 years old and has difficulty walking, which is why she's usually tucked away in a bedroom in the house. But bring her to the beach and get her in the water and buoyancy takes over and the arthritis is forgotten. Just watching her tide us all out and we decided to head back home to relax on the lawn and chomp on some biscuits. I've had such a lovely evening with this family and all my new friends. We're going to continue enjoying the breeze and the biscuits. Prakash, can I have one too please? Biscuit. Thank you. Okay, I'm not going to eat it. Okay, Sprite can have it. Up next, as Simba turns seven, we celebrate on Fat Tales. 